What's up beautiful nature family? In today's video I wanted to explain how to access the Akashic Records and what is the Akashic Records and what does it mean to access the Akashic Records because there's so much about it on YouTube, in yogis, it exists in Buddhism, in ancient texts like psychedelic texts with thought, Egyptian scriptures, it exists everywhere in all ancient spiritualities or religions or whatever you want to call them and the akasha in sanskrit means sky or space it's basically outside time what we are in now is the physical world of time the matrix of time or whatever you want to call it is what we're existing in right now and every person within themselves if they go within either through breath work or like normal meditation, which also is breath work, Tai Chi, or whichever path, you even Tantra, like wanking and sex, sex magic can also produce DMT. Because everything is psychedelics. You are psychedelics. Your consciousness is DMT. That's what's producing you to see me talk or hear yourself or see this dimension even. That's your pineal gland producing a certain amount of dimethyltryptamine you to be able to visualize this world and my experience with the Akashic Records which is outside of time it's the place where everything the infinite the infinite multiverse records are in one place everything is happening in one moment like poof, one now everything is happening at the same time and to get to this place there's several ways to get to this place as I said meditation learn how to produce the methyltryptamine from your own pineal gland and you will get there but there is no everything is within even this reflection of this tree over here this is just a reflection of my inner state being of our consciousness so all psychedelic plants like mushrooms psilocybin mescaline san pedro like the same thing and lsd which is ergot fungus or dmt which is this tree Cappy or whatever you want to call it like cappy vine or there's def there's a lot of things with DMT inside in this world different plants but all I'm saying as within so without as above so below and if you truly realize that all there is is this present moment here already in this limited form of self which is just a blessing too to be limited and have amnesia and don't remember what we are because it's fun to experience death and all these things that you wouldn't experience otherwise when you're the infinite self and what I'm getting to is to access the Akashic Records you I'm gonna teach from my experience I've touched it maybe three or four times and the first time was a high dose of LSD when I didn't even know what it was I wasn't even spiritual I was an atheist and I just left my body flew to the top of dimensions where there's just like two souls masculine and feminine yin and yang positive and negative on top of all dimensions explaining as light bulbs telepathically like this is how nature works this is what nature is all medicines are food food is the true medicine if you eat right you cannot have a virus in your system all these basic things that everyone who was connected to the infinite mind and connected with nature in the ancient times when they practiced the ancient ways everyone knew this this was common knowledge for all the enlightened societies of those times and this is forgotten knowledge now and the first time when I took the LSD, like 500 mics of liquid LSD-ish, then I saw, I got to that dimension, there was light bulbs, and then there was like a tape of time, so it's like the start of time and the end of time, and the loop of the whole time, everything is just looping all the time, and it goes in different cycles. Now we're in the Kali Yuga, and we're entering the Golden Age, Age of Aquarius, and we've been in the Kali Yuga, so we're entering the Golden Age. Where all of this knowledge will be accessible for everyone again it always was but people are too distracted with their masks and it doesn't matter if you reach this with lsd or psilocybin or smoking dmt or you breed yourself to produce dmt from your pineal gland or you mas master tantra and you learn how to have an inner orgasm and produce dmt and come to the source of creation the truth of the matter is it doesn't matter how you get to the infinite all is within all is self so your relationship of your creation how to get to the infinite self in the pineal gland the dimethyltryptamine the portal 
to infinite life, to what heaven was promised in the Bible and all the prophets said, like, you will live forever. The eternal life with God, which we all have within us, is just metaphors. And the second time I did this was like, I smoked DMT. And I've smoked DMT like 70 times before, at least, big doses of DMT. Just like, <laughs> trying to like, just shatter my ego and leave this space. And like, you can do that and you get... Like, the multiverse is infinite, There's this is one speck of life. There's par parallel multiverses happening at one now through all the infinite multiverse of existence. So when you smoke DMT, in the beginning, when you're not practicing it seriously as a meditation, then you're gonna get to different dimensions of beings of light that are in higher planes than this, so they can still teach you a lot about love and creation and how their dimensions was built up. Like, I've done my play like share of traveling through all the in-between layers of here and the Akashic Records. Is it still running? Your mom is calling it's and it said, it said something like, your video is going to be stopped, but it hasn't been. Just carry on. We carry on. It's all good. It's groovy. In the Akashic Records, it's just one of the highest dimensions you can reach. It's not the end-all be-all. It is the records of the infinite. The infinite is like literally everything's happening at the same time through the, all of the multiverse. And the Akashic Records, they are a place outside of time where everything is recorded. Every infinite possibilities of all realities mending together. All the, like if I take a step to the left here, or if I smash my head in the ground right now, both of those realities has already happened in the Akashic Records because it's the infinite possibilities all at once. And you get to see what is your optimal dharma, what is your optimal karma according to your heart wishes and your soul's true will and intention. And when you access these Akashic Records, your life will be completely changed. You will never have problems again, not real problems. There's, life is not so serious. You will be the master of your own emotions, energy and thoughts. And then you connect your heart, your feelings, what you really feel that you want to do with the will, the willpower of your mind and then you create mind and heart coherence and when you have mind and heart coherence you're literally, you're literally bending fabrics of reality with your willpower and your feelings to create whichever, whatever you want because you are God, you are the source of creation dreaming, dream whatever you want, all infinite realities are possible, whichever dream you want. You just gotta get your mind and your heart in coherence with each other. And this DMT trip, which I had in the Akashic Records, it's, it was only two puffs, and I'm taking like eight puffs of high doses of DMT and not got into that place before. I took two big puffs and the bong just poof, disappears and it turns into the book of life. And a lot of people say in the Akashic Records that it's the book of life. And this book opens and there's like strings of light going into it to all infinite realities of the multiverse and it's showing me like Jesus like Jesus Christ Muhammad all the prophets Buddha how they were their string was connected to the source and it was the source of creation they already became one with the source of creation this was not their individual self this teaching these things this is God the, the God source of creation the light of creation expressing itself through them just like it's expressing it through me right now for anyone who's connected to the source the light of creation that we've all forgotten that we are because we live in a dimension with amnesia and when this book showed everything it's like it showed all the infinite dimensions it was like here in this dimension the laws of physics work like this the blueprint of creation is like this Everyone is connected to the one mind. Everybody knows they're the same being. So in this dimension, we create realities, blah, blah, blah. In this dimension, we experience realities. Here, we watch ourselves experience the realities in limited form. Like, it showed you all the infinite perspectives of self that exist. And I didn't even realize it was the Akashic Records, even that time. And then the third time when I did it, I smoked Shanga. Maybe like 15 puffs in total, I don't know exactly, I didn't like count every single puff. And then I got to one puff and it was like, fuck, my ego is like, I'm dying. And I panicked for a second. And then I took another puff and we were sitting in the woods. And it was like wooden, 
logs stacked like a tent and we were sitting in the middle of it and I was just looking forward and all of reality basically like the sides disappeared and I looked into a stick and in this stick like inside the stick I saw every future past future past event thought emotion or feeling or idea or creation that all of it comes from that place and we are picking up from that place bringing it down here because all of it has already happened and this is what all the great inventors like Nikola Tesla and stuff like they tapped into the source of the Akasha and brought those ideas into fruition in the physical world it's not that you are coming up with ideas this the infinite of all realities have already done everything we are just a limited form experiencing it everything has already happened and it's not like oh everything in your life has already happened so don't do anything it's like every infinite possibility of all you could ever do in this life is happening at the same time in parallel realities in the Akashic records like <laughs> so we're experiencing everything at the same time and when you touch the Akashic records you get to see everything in the same moment happening and it's mostly your soul dharma and your soul karma and your past lives that you're gonna see the most because you're gonna get to see the most what's the most important for your soul's development and that's all we're doing we're developing our souls it's evolution that's what's happening consciousness is evolving and by tapping into these akashic records you will find out that you have all the answers within you and if you reach these akashic records with psychedelics breathing techniques tantric love making or just meditating or just praying because you can even pray yourself there there's infinite ways to the infinite there's so many different paths to get to the infinite and there's no wrong or right way but once you realize you are the infinite consciousness that all is everything that is through the whole universe then it's all up to you all responsibility is on you to create whatever you want whichever dream you want and live as if everyone is you and you treat every you love yourself fully so you will love every other being tree living thing on the whole planet too because it's the same thing you will realize true true oneness and everyone has these answers within them like fully like and this is not like some hocus pocus this is ancient knowledge common knowledge from the ancients that the strains of buddhists know and i don't remember the exact name now but and all the yogis knew and they called it akashic records like google it like or duck duck go it if you want to uncensor that shit you and figure this out for yourself and then just like google it to find out to see that this is knowledge that has existed in the ancients but to truly see it you gotta go within you gotta learn how to either produce dimethyltryptamine from your pineal gland through breath work meditation yoga moving meditation tai chi or tantra love making masturbation because if you hold it in you get an inner orgasm that's that's the source of creation everything in this world is working in our favor we've just forgotten everybody's so stuck in their mind they don't realize that you barely need to use the mind you never have to think i need this or i i i i i you can use your mind after you reached all these things as a tool and not take it so seriously but it will never create suffering for you again because your identity is no longer in the i thought your identity is not attached to an illusion that is not real because all is real is this now here I'm talking with you guys, this tree is here and the rest that is past or future is imagination in your head and I'm not saying imagination is bad but if your identity is in your imagination and thoughts, your mind is like a mirror it's reflecting reality all the time and then right now maybe my thoughts are like oh a tree and then I'm like oh I am that thought and I really, I really like this tree and then I go somewhere else and I get another thought and I'm like Oh, but why don't I feel so good with this identification of the I thought over there as I did when I looked at the tree because that was really nice and then you're just comparing thoughts to thoughts like here's a reflection of the mind of the world 
and here was one before but here when I had my identity here it felt better when I had my identity here and then it's just like a loop of distortion and and just a mess of confusion because all that's true is this present moment right here what you do now is what you reap later what you start doing now is what you get to reap the benefits of in a week and it's time is not real but in the matrix of time it's real your physical body is aging the trees are aging the grass changes season sometimes it rains sometimes it's sun so time is real in the sense of the physical world but your consciousness is timeless and all is now and all is me all is you and it's the same thing and once you truly grasp this and not from my words by going within accessing your own akashic records your own soul's journey your own dharma your own whatever then you will see that time in the sense that it's not real is that if you start your dream now then it already happened trust the moment trust yourself as in god that you are capable of anything at any time whenever you want and the difference in reaching akashic records with psychedelics like all psychedelics do is activate what you already have in your brain psychedelics are not you're consuming a drug and then that drug is putting a molecule in your brain that molecule is activating your pineal gland LSD activates so you produce 5 meo DMT in your brain 1000% more 5 meo DMT or like 400% more NN DMT all psychedelics are just like DMT but with a line to the side in the mole molecular structure or whatever you want to call it in the science in the molecules it's the same thing like psilocybin is called 4HO DMT in science all of it DMT is the source of consciousness it's all that we are and once you tap in to your inner self you will see that what we're living now is a very limited world of what we're capable of we're capable of living as one planet together as one earth as the ancients used to do when we practiced the ancient ways psychedelics are not drugs they're plant medicines it's your own consciousness in really high form it's god in mushrooms it's god in molecules it's the all-knowing you that is not limited you right now you're experiencing yourself in a human limited form as your god self to experience more forms of reality and more aspects of self in the infinite spectrum of life but but we live it We've been living so long now in the dark ages and the light is back so I'm just trying to tell you all that you all have your inner teacher within you and you find them in silence and when you're in silence you're in your heart center and there you can always rest and find all answers you seek in this life you don't have to go for any external sources of course you can read a book you can expand your knowledge your your uh, what's it called your vocabulary you can increase the knowledge you have within your brain to express yourself in language but language is a limited form of our soul's expression we're capable of telepathy we're capable of telekinesis we're just living in a limited quantum field right now of people's limited belief systems and we are a collective so unless the collective raises abo above a certain frequency then unless I go mow out in the mountains and I go chant om om every day for three months then I'll levitate then I'll levitate in the mountains and if you come there and chant with me we can communicate tele telepathy like telepathically and all these things are possible you just don't take my word for it I am you talking to you so if you can grasp that then you're already pretty long along the path that it's you talking to yourself making yourself realize your true potential but if you're not there yet don't listen to what I say go sit down and meditate and the, the best way to reach the Akashic Records from Mr. Nature my teacher my teachings that I've experienced myself and you can only teach from your own experience otherwise you're stuck in someone else's ego trying to explain their experience is that a huge dose of psychedelics in a dark room 
or with Hertz music or just like drums, like shamanic drums or something, mixed with a clean diet before, drinking clean water and uh, drinking like cold pressed juice, like drinking things and eating things with life energy, with prana, idol food. It doesn't have to be fully organic, it doesn't mean that you never have to eat meat. Just if you eat meat, eat it organic. If you eat food, eat it organic, without additives, without sugar, without processed food. Remove this, start doing a little bit of breathing techniques like Wim Hof guided breathing or any diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing, wh whatever breathing technique you're into that you feel comfortable with. Start practicing it a bit weekly or daily and then once you feel ready and you feel called to it, take a huge dose of any real psychedelic like LSD, DMT, mushrooms, peyote, mescaline and there's a lot more real ones from nature but it's just an example and all of this if done sacred and respectfully and with the knowing of what it is or not even know the knowing of what it is just the love and pure intentions of what you want to achieve then you will achieve it all psychedelics do is bring you to the purest form of consciousness which we almost are supposed to be in all the time when our bodies are feel fully pure and we're not being polluted and there's not heavy metals in the air and there's not chemtrails and there's not like coal mines putting mercury in the air and all of these things and the food is not polluted and not everybody's not consuming processed sugar every day if all of our systems were clean the whole time we would be producing high doses of dimethyltryptamine from our pineal glands all the time and those were the ancient days when everybody knew this the, the Egyptians, the Mayans, all the people that built the pyramids like these are ascended masters they are now living in higher light dimensions than we are right now we're just trapped in the cycle of time I've escaped it, I'm in Nirvana you're also in Nirvana, in Nirvana unless you believe that you are time you die for real, like when you die for real, you die you fully believe that you are your thoughts and your body nothing else then you'll keep reincarnating as that until you learn the lesson and that is what basically what karma is there's no there's no way out of it all you gotta do is transcend it and transcend karma you do with love for all of creation and getting love for all of creation is just one thing that's loving yourself fully because if you love every aspect of yourself, imperfections and all, embrace your darkness, embrace your flaws, embrace your imperfections, then you love all of creation because all is self. If all is self and you love yourself fully, then you love everything else too. And this is just my, my way how to get to the Akashic Records. It's psychedelics mixed with meditation, mixed with a clean diet and huge doses. And that's the word of God. You forgot about the intention. And the intention, but I think I said it before. Pure intention of, not even of what you want to achieve, just pure hearted intention of a soul journey. And that this is sacred plant medicines that are really high forms of consciousness that can teach you whatever you want to know, because it's just you in your highest form. God is God's high, you are God, but God has, the source of creation has a highest form, an all-knowing form, and that is your higher self. And once you're ready, you will meet your higher self too, but this is all, this is enough for this video. Yeah. This is about the Akashic Records, how to tap into yourself, how to get the answers from yourself. Forget about what I'm saying, sit down and meditate, clean your diet. Or don't eat, do whatever the fuck you want, but if you're curious, do these things. If you want to know the answers within yourself without taking anyone's words for it, psychedelics are the way. High doses of psychedelics is like reading all the Bibles, but directly from God with telepathy. And it's you're, your own personal Bible. And it's your own experience. It's not someone else's experience that you're trying to interpret. You had a direct experience with the source of creation. And that doesn't have to be that you get to the Akashic Records. First, maybe you just read God, God Consciousness and realize all is one. There's different levels to enlightenment. There's these different levels to this shit. And 
now I'm gonna go enjoy it. That is Friday. Leave the heart of nature, go to the middle of the Babylon, because it's Friday and I haven't drank a beer in the city a really long time. So I'm gonna go glitch the matrix a little bit. <laughs> I love you all. Peace and love for all of creation. Remember that you're the eternal it. You can do whatever you want in the name of love. Peace out. Peace.